The Last Jedi was a film that was critically acclaimed and across the board, all Star Wars fans loved it. The fan base could not be in a better spot and we are all incredibly excited for episode nine. F fucking wish. So, the, the Last Jedi obviously divided the fan base. In this video, I want to talk about what, if anything, Lucasfilm will retcon in episode nine, whether or not they should do it and whether or not I think they actually Will. What is up, YouTube? My name is Josh. This is the Den of Nerds. If you love Star Wars, subscribe to this channel. I crank out a ton of Star Wars videos on, on yeah, on this channel. All right, so let's get right into this. I want to talk about The Last Jedi. I want to talk about the fan divide, and I want to talk about Star Wars Episode Nine. But before we get into the meat of the video, I just want to say there's a lot of you out there that are like, I don't see the problem. Why would you retcon anything from The Last Jedi? I loved it, and I'm super excited for Episode Nine. And, and while I also enjoyed The Last Jedi, I would just say to people out there, I just think if you look at what's happening with the fan base right now, it's pretty obvious that not everybody loved the last movie. And even if you did love the last movie, you would have to admit that it is a departure from the normal formula for Star Wars. It's sort of a different kind of Star Wars movie. And different can be fun and different can be exciting, but different shouldn't become the status quo, especially when your fan base is in the state that Star Wars fan base is. And so I think in some ways they need to return to form for episode nine. And if you look at the practices of Lucasfilm and what they've been doing recently, it's pretty obvious they're aware of the problem and they're taking steps to improve their relationship with the fans that didn't like that movie. I mean, look at what they're doing with The Last Jedi comic books. You're getting more in-depth stuff on like the death of Akbar. You're getting a better explanation for why Luke is on the island. You are getting a better explanation of what happened with Leia when she's in space. And so it's obvious that the writers of these things, and even in the Jason Fry novel, there are attempts made to further explain things, to give the fans more of what they desire. Also, look at what we know about episode nine so far. I mean, Lando's coming back. That really feels olive branchy to the fans. The Knights of Ren will likely play a big role. That feels like an olive branch to the fans. It feels like they're gonna throw as much fan service as they possibly can into episode nine. And I do not think that that is a mistake. And so now I wanna run through three big things that I think they should retcon or change in episode nine from The Last Jedi. Number one, they need to bring Luke Skywalker back. And I'm okay if he's just a Force ghost because at the end of the day, Force ghosts are still alive and what we saw Yoda do in The Last Jedi makes us believe that Force ghosts are actually pretty freaking strong. I'd love to see what Luke Skywalker is capable of as a Force ghost, but even if he doesn't do anything cool with his power, he needs to be there to give further explanation for what happened in The Last Jedi. The novelization by Jason Fry does a much better job explaining why he's on the island, the turmoil that he was struggling with inside, knowing that people are struggling, but knowing that it's the right thing to do to stay there. It also does a much better job of explaining why he realizes that he does have to go back to the fight and reattain his mythic status. Another big thing that they need to change in episode nine is giving us back the optimistic Luke. Luke as a force goes has to resemble the Luke that we saw in Return of the Jedi. He has to be optimistic. He has to be wise. He has to be lighthearted. Give us back the Luke that we are used to. I'm okay that he had his little spell of grumpiness and went all get off my lawn, but I think it would be really smart if they not only further explain that, but kind of get this guy back to form. Give us the old optimistic Luke. So that would be retcon number one that I think episode nine should do. Retcon number two, they need to bring Snoke back. And I'm not saying they have to actually make him alive again, but they should put him in either a force back vision or a flashback or in a holocaust. Simply put, we need more of an explanation as to how he gained the power that he did, and I would love to see more of a focus on the tormenting that he did to Ben Solo, especially when Ben Solo was a younger person. 
I think super integral to the idea of redeeming Ben Solo has to do with Snoke and the corruption that Snoke placed upon Ben Solo. I mean, if this evil dark side entity was literally driving this kid crazy from birth, that's very important and, and a great element to bring empathy from the audience to that character. I also think especially if some of the stuff we're hearing about them going to the unknown regions is true, that it will be very important to know exactly how Snoke was able Able to navigate the unknown regions what kind of a role did he play in the unknown regions are there more people like him in the unknown regions the mystery of snoke was a huge thing after the force awakened the community absolutely loved it and for ryan to just kill him off without much of an explanation kind of sucked for people so that would be retcon number two bring snoke back give us more snoke information retcon number three and i know a lot of you will not like this but i believe they need to give Ray a proper lineage. Now, Ray Nobody or Ray No One is this thing that a lot of people like. They're like, hey, you don't need to belong to a big family to be someone. That's true. You're telling me that Poe Dameron's not a someone? Because he is. You're telling me Finn's not a someone? Because he is. But when it comes to Jedi and when it comes to the Force and the lineage of main characters in Star Wars, it is a family affair. It always has been. I think it would not only make a lot of the Mary Sue people shy their mouths but it would just in general give more of an explanation for why this girl this seemingly random girl is now on the big stage playing with the big other players and possessing the power that she does i'm personally a big fan of the kenobi theory and i think it can still mean that her parents were nobodies perhaps her adopted parents in my head canon but in either case her grandparents were definitely not nobodies they were obi-wan kenobi and someone and so I think giving Rey a lineage would really make a lot of other fans happy and it really wouldn't piss off too many of the already happy fans. Now I want to talk about just a couple other things that wouldn't be retcons, but they're more like changes from what happened in The Last Jedi. If they do these things, I think it will really help this film sit better with Star Wars fans. Number one, no more Marvel humor. Do not start this movie with a your mom joke, especially against one of the characters that was super menacing before as far as i'm concerned cuck has been <laughs> cuck <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, Hux has been completely castrated. I really don't give a crap about that character anymore, and I can't take him seriously. That's what happens when you give him all those jokes. You give him the Wilhelm scream, Snoke sliding him across the floor. It totally sucked. But there's plenty of examples of Marvel humor in The Last Jedi, and I just don't think it fits. It takes people out of the film. No more Marvel humor in Episode Nine. The next thing they need to do is focus on the Force. Please, for the love of God, do not give us a side quest of a story and actually if you like those other side characters put them around Rey or Kylo Ren. Rey and Kylo Ren need to be the complete and total focus of episode 9 and whatever is happening between them which is a part of the cosmic force I really want that explored in detail and you can cut the fat just give me force users the force and that struggle. I think that's what Star Wars fans are yearning for. That is the next thing I think they need to change. The next thing that I think they need to change is to make the First Order more menacing. These guys are not menacing at all. And if you watch the most recent Jeremy Johns video, I think he lays it out there pretty well. I mean, they're always yelling, they're always emotional, and we really haven't seen the power of them displayed in any real tangible way. I want to see big old fleets. I want to see subjugation of planets. I want to see super cruel measures of punishment and all sorts of other things like that. If they can make the First Order very menacing, it will go a long way to make the Resistance empathetic and for us to really want to root for our heroes. So that's the next thing I think they need to change. The last thing that I think they need to change is explain Rey better. Now, the novelization of The Last Jedi goes a long way to explain all of the different fascinating aspects of Rey. She's a conduit of the light side. She can touch things and tap into the Force memories of objects. She has some weird relationship with Kylo Ren where he, she literally gains access to his training during the interrogation scene of The Force Awakens. But the problem with all of that is it's in a novel. None of it is explicitly 
completely spelled out in the movies and you can't rely on all of your fan base reading all of these ancillary materials. So I think they need to further explain Rey, put it right out there in the open. If she is a force prodigy, if she is something that we've never seen before, explain it. Talk more about it. That would go a long way with making that character more relatable for hardcore Star Wars fans. And so those are just some of my thoughts. This is just a fun speculation video. I mean, like I said, if you don't think there needs to be any changes to Star Wars, that's totally fine. I get what you are saying. I personally think if they made these few changes, it would go a long way to bridging the gap right now. There's such a divide in the fan base right now. And I've been hearing some things from people that I know that know people at Lucasfilm. And it seems like Star Wars is aware of the problem. And they are trying to give the fans exactly what they want from now on. Now, I want to shout out Chanto, who got the nerd card question correct in my Force Child video. You definitely know your stuff when it comes to Star Wars. So shout out to you, Chanto. We are doing another nerd card question right now. And the question is, what was the name of the creature that Luke milked to get the green milk from the infamous green milk scenes in The Last Jedi? I want to know the name of that creature. Answer that question in the comment section below. You can click below to watch some more dope videos. You can click our icon to subscribe to get all of our future content. As I always say, I hope you are having an awesome and nerdy day. And I will see you in the next video.